finest professional wrestling from the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic region, Capital Wrestling. The pain train, Preston Quinn, follows in a long line of wrestlers that prove, like wine, talent ripens into excellence with age. Therefore, the 40-year-old Mid-Atlantic star is Capital Wrestling's first entrant into the old-school three-way dance on March 25th. While oftentimes in professional wrestling, we celebrate youth, it's just as easy to argue the point that for many industry stars, life begins at 40. Though there are modern names like Batista and Christopher Daniels who have shown that getting it done with four decades living on this earth is more than possible. It's in looking at the hardcore legend Terry Funk where we understand what makes Preston Quinn so great. In 1985, a 40-year-old Terry Funk was already a legend, but still headlined across the country, versing people like Hulk Hogan in the World Wrestling Federation. By 1989, he was 45 and headlining against a 40-year-old Ric Flair for the NWA Heavyweight Championship. At 50, he was a King of the Deathmatch finalist. By 55, he was ECW World Champion, WCW US Champion, and WWF Tag Team Champion. By 60, he was playing a significant role in the in-ring development of performers like CM Punk. Though life began at 40 for Funk in many ways, his impressiveness in the ring continued to grow. During March 25th's Old School Three-Way Dance main event, life begins at 40 for Preston Quinn in Capital Wrestling. We're advising everyone to get off the tracks because the pain train is rolling into Jersey City and unfortunately for many, he has just begun to pick up steam.